So, loom bands are in fashion now, but when I was in secondary school, the latest craze was Tamagotchis. If you haven't seen them before, a Tamagotchi is a digital pet. You have to take care of it or it gets sick and dies. We can create a text interface for a Tamagotchi in MATLAB by using conditional structures. Let's have a look at one that I've created. You can download this code from the Moodle page to inspect it or experiment with it if you want to. I'll just point out first that any lines which say fprintf are used for printing results on screen. The fprintf function allows for a little bit more control over the way results are printed on screen than the disp function that we've seen so far. If you find five variables here, we're going to monitor the pet's happiness, fullness, healthiness and the amount of snacks that it's eaten. The maximum age that the pet can live to is determined on this line of the code as a random integer in the range from 10 to 50. We've got a massive while loop here. Everything here is enclosed in a while loop up to this point as you can see by the indenting. So everything inside the loop will get repeated for however many cycles we've chosen that the pet will live for. Every time we start a new cycle there is a chance that the pet's happiness will decrease. This won't happen on the first cycle. It also won't happen if the happiness is already zero. And for the remaining cases, the probability of a decrease in happiness is 50%. This part here produces either a 0 or a 1 with 50% probability. So all three of these conditions need to be true for the happiness to decrease. The pet can also lose fullness on each turn through a similar mechanism. This part here determines whether the pet gets sick. The pet can't get sick on the first five cycles. So the first thing we do is check to see if more than five cycles have been iterated. If they have, then the probability of the pet getting sick is related to its fullness and its happiness. Happy pets and full pets are less likely to get sick. The variable healthy records whether the pet is healthy or sick, and it takes values zero or one, with 0 meaning not healthy and 1 meaning healthy. The probabilities of each of these two results are determined by p sick here. The next part of each cycle gives us the opportunity to do things to improve the welfare of our pet. These actions are contained within a loop that will continue indefinitely, because we've put while true, until we do something to forcefully exit the loop. This part of the loop is all of this. So within this nested loop, each time we go around we're being given an option of doing several possible choices. We can do nothing, and in this case we'll exit the loop using a break. Or we can give our pet medicine. If we give our pet medicine, there's a 70% chance that it will heal the pet, but there's also a 30% chance that it won't. If we play with our pet, then we'll increase the happiness, provided that we haven't reached the maximum happiness. If we feed our pet, then we'll increase its fullness, provided that we haven't reached the maximum fullness. Giving the pet a snack also increases its happiness, but we can't give a pet a snack if it's full. Snacks are a quick way of improving happiness, but eventually they can make the pet sick if it's eaten too many. When we play with the pet, which is a more fulfilling way of increasing the happiness, we have to wait, as implemented using this pause here. If the pet is not healthy at the end of any one cycle, then it will die. So if a pet gets sick at the start of a cycle, then we have to give it medicine, and we have to keep giving it medicine until it becomes healthy. 
Let's test this out. We have a new pet. It starts off like all pets, 25% happy, 25% full and healthy. What should we do? Let's do nothing for now. We can keep doing nothing for the first three or four years without actually running into any difficulties. The pet becomes unhappy and becomes very hungry, but it's not going to die just yet. It's now one years old. It's now two years old, still healthy. Three years old, still healthy. Four years old, still healthy. Five years old, still healthy. There's a chance by now that it can get sick, but so far we've been lucky. Wow, our pet's doing really well. We haven't fed it. Oh, it's now got sick. 11 years old. We haven't fed it, played with it, and it's only just got sick. At this point, we need to give the pet medicine. Ah, it worked. It's now healthy. Let's play with the pet. We have to wait. Our pet's now a bit more happy. Let's give it some snacks and get through the happiness process a bit faster. Our pet's 100% happy. It's not full. Snacks don't really fill the pet up when you properly feed it. Okay, our pet's 100% happy, 100% full and healthy. We don't need to do anything else. I'm going to give the pet another snack. I, because I've given my pet too many snacks, it's now sick. So we need to give it medicine. It's still sick. The medicine didn't work. Let's give it more medicine. It's healthy. Now, from now on, I'm going to continue to do nothing every time, and we'll see what happens. Our pet died because it got sick, and we didn't give it medicine.